What's going on today, you guys? Just gonna make another uh, short and sweet video here. Actually, I don't know how short it's gonna be. We might do some ripping in the end of this video, and uh, might be a good time. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys uh, some of the flaws I've uh, came up with with this Apollo pit bike here. And um, yeah, so let's just start going through it, and I'll over you know motor on this thing pretty hard over the last couple uh, couple weeks, and uh, I'll show you all the problems I've been having with it and uh, how we're gonna fix that today. Anyways, hope this video helps you guys out while you guys are riding these bikes. And uh, yeah, stay tuned because it might be a good one. First off, I've been jumping this thing so hard that I'm popping tires. So we're going to change that back tire today. I'm going to take that thing off, take it home, get my dad to help me change that. But then uh, another thing is I've lost one of the bolts that hold the carburetor on up here. One of those came out. I've already replaced that real quick. Um, the ignition on these bikes, they're mounted in a horrible spot. Like if you go down or try and whip this thing too hard, then uh, the ignition just breaks clean off. So we're going to be uh, relocating that. Another thing too is these spark plug tubes or wires, sorry, kind of when they're, they have more zip ties on it now, but we kind of rub against the exhaust and I burnt this thing right through. So that's why it's taped together. So we're going to be placing this ignition, hopefully. I got another ignition. And uh, showing you guys how to zip tie that out of the way. And um, yeah, you guys seen the muffler video, my last video. So let's get to it and start taking this thing apart and uh, get her fixed up. And we'll do some riding. All right, so we're going to set up a time lapse for you guys. And we're just going to uh, take all the plastics off. And I'll uh, show you guys what we're changing. We're going to take the uh, side fairings off and the tail seat and uh, show you guys what we're getting at. All right, so we got it torn down. It's pretty quick and easy. Now uh, show you what I'm working with here. All right, there's our old ignition. There's our new ignition. This one should just plug in. And uh, yeah, I'll plug her in. Show you where we're gonna relocate this thing up here. All right, mint, got her plugged in. So now we're gonna have to hide this thing. I think I'm gonna have her pointed down right there. Sorry. All right, just threw the gas tank back on. Show you guys what I came up with here. Just got her mounted down here. Now I can just reach in here, click the switch. Should work for what I'm doing. Bars ain't gonna hit it anymore. Just barely misses. I'll hit side first, hit the tank first. So sorry about the shaky camera, but we should be good. And uh, lead us into that ignition coil. I think I'm gonna have problems with. I'll show you guys what's up. Alright, so our ignition box is buried right in here, and the spark plug wire comes off of it there, it's down, it's over the spark plug on the other side there. Anyways, my problem is these look like uh, crimped connections on here, and I'm not going to be able to recrimp those to replace this. So, looks like we're just going to send it and put this thing back together, and uh, get to that another day. Maybe order one from Apollo that's got the complete wiring harness. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe just send it till it breaks. No idea. Anyways, put this thing back together, take that back tire off, and uh, change it flat now. Alright, so we got the back tire off, got it all put back together, and I uh, figured I'd take a second now to talk about some more problems I've had with this bike. Now, I've had these motor mounts, one in the back, down here, I've had that one break, 
And there's one right here. I've had that one break as well. So if I had to replace those, been jumping this thing pretty hard. The ignition, like I said, been popping tires. And uh, yeah, but other than that, like, I mean, I've been beating the hell out of this bike. I'll, I'll uh, once we get the tire uh, put back together, we'll put throw the GoPro on, and I'll show you what I mean in the backyard track here. But uh, yeah. Anyways, solid little bike for what you pay for them, but you know, you just gotta be ready. You gotta have to do a little bit of maintenance. But let's get this tire fixed and uh, get her put back on. Maybe clean this bike up a little bit because she's uh, pretty disgusting right now. And go take her for another rip. All right, these boys are racing. Got to get the bike going again. Stall her. Let's get this. Three, two, one, go! Oh, go, 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 go! <laughs> oh, it did cut in the corner. Making up some ground. See so how they come around the corner. Cross in front. Oh! Yeah! Just want to thank you guys for watching back at home now and uh yeah so i just want to talk for a sec these bikes are uh such good bikes you know especially for the money you really can't beat them like i've took i've took it to a full-on motocross track and beat the hell out of the apollo and you know but the bike the bike's still running like that's all i can say i mean yeah they have a little bit of problems got to be ready to work on them but nothing too serious pretty awesome bike for the price and uh intend to get a lot more use out of it hope you guys like these videos too if you want to see uh, keep them coming hit that like button please subscribe and uh, catch you guys in the next one I got uh, some big surprises lined up for you guys and you guys are gonna be stoked so all right see you guys in the next video and thank you guys for watching